Assalamu alaikum students hope you will be fine and in good health in our previous lecture we studied few features of ms word and practiced them dear students today we will study page break and section break which is given on page 54 the purpose of this feature is that it can be used to change the formatting of a document so what's the difference between page break and section break page break this feature enables the computer to know where the next page starts. So it breaks the page of your document. Section break. This feature allows us to create sections on the same page in addition to moving to the next page. It means that it breaks down into different sections. You can enable this feature by going into page layout in which you have page setup group. You have four options in section break. First one, next page. It means that your section will begin from next page. Second, continuous to begin the next section from the next line. Third, even page. It begins the next section from the next even numbered page. For instance, 2, 4, 6, 8 and so on. Last one, odd page. It begins the next section break from the next odd numbered page. For instance, 3, 5, 7, 9, etc. Now the next one, adding footnotes and endnotes, which is given on page 55. They are very important as they contain additional detail related to the text of a document. What's the difference between footnote and endnote? Let me tell you that your document consists of many pages. You can take example of MS Word document like a book. A footnote is placed at the bottom of a page and a note is placed at the end of a document. Now what is referencing? Each footnote and a note is given a number. This number is also placed next to the related information in the main text. This is called referencing. Now what's the advantage of referencing? It finds footnotes and endnotes easily. You can access this feature by clicking the References tab and Footnote and Note group. Now, the last topic that is previewing a document, which is given on page 56. Before giving print command to the document, we should preview the document. Why? To check whether the text, tables and images are appearing properly. Its advantage is to spot an error and correct it before proceeding for a hard copy. The shortcut of previewing is Ctrl plus P. You can access this feature easily from File tab. Then changing paper size and source, which is again on page 54. The default paper size is A4. Paper size should be same as the paper present in your printer, for example, legal, letter, A6, etc. You have to click on source to select which printer you would like to use and you can also change the number of copies. For example, if you need 10 copies of the page, you may write 10 over there to get 10 copies. So these are the settings for printing a page. This was the last topic of chapter 5 and our chapter is now complete. Let's do some practical work now. First of all, open the document. So, I have written some lines relating to coronavirus. Firstly, we can see that total pages are 4 in this corner. Now, we will go to page layout to see page break and section break. So my cursor is here at the World Health Organization and when I will click page break, the entire text will move to the next page as soon as I click on this option. The text is shifted from page 1 to page 2. This is actually page break. Then we move to section break. Again, you can see that I am selecting this paragraph and click on odd page. The text will be shifted to page 3. So this is section break that the paragraph has now moved to page 3. Now we move to next one that is how to add 
footnote and endnote. First, go to reference tab and there you see footnotes group. Now I will put a footnote on World Health Organization. You can see that I wrote WHO in the footnote. You can see this number one as it is also placed on World Health Organization. This is called referencing, which refers the text to the footnote. Similarly, you can also insert endnote that will be placed at the end of the document. As we are having four pages in this document, so the endnote will be placed at the end of page four. Now coming to the last topic of MS Word that is previewing a document. The shortcut key, as you remember, is Ctrl plus P. When you press Ctrl plus P, you see your document in the way as you are taking a print of it. This is print preview. You can also change the number of copies like I am writing 20 over here. I can also change paper size from here as A4 and I can also change the name of the printer as well. One important thing to be noted is that all these settings should be done before taking the print out. With this now we have finished our chapter. I hope you all have understood the chapter. Keep practicing it and get your hands on MS Word. So as we have done our practical work, we will now move to our exercise which is given on page 59. The exercise has three parts, part A, B and C. Let's start with exercise A. Exercise A is fill in the blanks. Number one, viewing modes can be accessed from the dash bar status. Number two, the dash feature allows us to view different parts of a document in two windows, split. Number three, the keyboard shortcut for the undo command is dash, control plus Z. Number four, the symbol feature is found on the dash, insert. Number five, the dash feature allows us to view a document at greater magnification, zoom. Then we move to exercise B. As you can see the question, state whether the following statements are true or false. Rewrite the false statements to make them true. Number one, web layout displays a document as it would appear in the form of a web page. True. Number two, the undo command reverses the last action performed. True. Number three, the insert key enables us to replace existing text with the new text. True. Number four, the symbol feature should be used to insert commonly used punctuation marks. This statement is false. Its true statement is the symbol feature should be used to insert not commonly used punctuation marks. Number five, the word count feature can be accessed from the view tab. This statement is false. Its correct one is the word count feature can be accessed from the review tab. Number six, the page break feature is used to tell the computer where the next page should begin. This statement is true. Number seven, previewing a document enables us to correct any errors before printing it. This statement is true. Now we move to our exercise C and the last exercise. The question is, select the correct option for each question. Number one, which layout shows two pages side by side? Correct answer is option B, full screen reading. Number two, on which tab is the word count feature found? Correct option B, review. Number three, which of these is placed at the end of a document? Option A, endnotes. Number four, which key is used to replace existing text with the new text? Correct answer, option A, insert. 
Last one, Zoom settings can be accessed from the Dash tab. Correct option, View. This was all about your exercise. I hope you have done the exercise. If you have any questions, you may ask from me. Thank you and have a nice day.